Every day, millions of Christians scroll through their feeds and see mega churches with packed out altars, pastors influencing some of the most famous people in the world, and billboard chart topping worship teams selling out stadium after stadium. Understandably, we begin to dream and ask, what are the chances that I will ever stand on a stage like that, or the people will someday line up outside of my church just waiting to get in? Trust me, I get it. I live in a tiny town in the middle of Texas, population less than 5,000 people, meaning that you could fit everybody here in most megachurch sanctuaries all at once. So I understand the temptation to feel as if you've been forgotten in the greater plan that God has. But the question is, how would our perspective change if we took the time to ask the question, what are the chances? Well, let's start with the average American. It's a 1 in 195 chance you live in the U.S., a 1 in 50 that you're in any given state, and if you take the average number of cities in the average state, you find you have a 1 in 1,215 chance of living in the town you do now. And once you adjust for the average population of any given town, you have a one in 4,000 shot of having the same five people in your sphere of influence again. So let's put this in perspective. Statisticians say you have a one in 1.5 million chance of ever becoming famous enough that the average person knows your name. The kind of position that a T.D. Jakes or a Stephen Furtick finds themselves in. But let me be clear, what the men and women in those positions are doing is incredible, and to belittle it would be a mistake. But I believe we are making equally a grave mistake when we come to God and say, why don't you love me enough to give me that kind of influence? Don't you believe in me enough to give me an opportunity like that? God looks back at us and questions, why are you so obsessed with the one in a million when if you looked at your own life, consider the nation, the state, city, and people group I placed you in, you have a 754,806,000,000 chance of starting life over again and ending up exactly where you are right now. So stop complaining that I let them sell out stadiums when I moved heaven and earth to place you where you are. What if instead of always focusing on what God is doing at some bigger church in some bigger city, we instead looked for the bigger miracle God wants to accomplish in us exactly where we are right now? How would the world change if every Christian woke up tomorrow, looked to themselves in the mirror and asked, what are the chances? Mm -hmm.